Let's have a look at a multilayer perceptron with some given parameters. And here we already have our constructed um, graph of the multilayer perceptron. However, the connections are still omitted. So uh, first, let me introduce the parameters here. So we have a depth of four. So this is this over here. We have a value of attributes p of seven. This is over here. We also have um, the layer specifications. So um, the layer one, L1, has five units. This is over here. One, two, three, four, five. The, um, yeah, this bias unit over here does not count. Over here, layer two has three units, and layer three also has three units. And then we see um, yeah, the output layer with k units, and here we have k equals four. Okay, those are the parameters. Now let's have a look at the connection that we have. So um, in order to draw the connections for this node, so the connection that go into this node, we need to connect all those other nodes. So for each of them, a weight parameter is learned and um, yeah, those are added and also um, run through the activation function. And this also holds for all the others um, that we have over here. Of course, this bias unit, if you want to call, um, doesn't get any input from the previous layer. But yeah, if you can see, if we connect all those up also, and all those, and so on, then we get pretty many connections um, in each layer, and also pretty many parameters to learn. So if you actually want to compute the number of parameters that we get here, uh, or the number of weights, then um, yeah, we just have to multiply so we multiply this number of units over here with the number of units over here that actually get an input. So this, this doesn't get one, but this does. So we have p plus one, so eight in total, times this L1 value, which is five. So we get eight times five plus, then the same over here. So for this one, um, which also has has a weight for each and every L2 unit, we get five plus one times three, so six times three, plus from here to here, four times three, plus from here to there, four times four. So in total, we get 86. So if we were to double the number of um, yeah, units Li, then we would add a few units over here, from here to there, and from here to there, and so on, and the whole computations can be done again with the different parameters. And what you would see then is that we get 216 uh, weights to learn. So this is somewhere between two and four times the original number, and the reason for that can be seen now, because we now want to denote an expression that gives us the number of weights in the general case. So we start with this block over here, with these weights, and we have p plus one for this part over here, times l1, plus, and now we have a sum of all those weights over here, uh, not the last one, but all those intermediate between the hidden layers. So we have a sum starting at 
i equals 2, which means that yeah, we first consider this block, because this one is already done, up until d minus 1. So we get all until the last block. And here we have to take l i minus 1 plus 1 times l i. And now we need to add the last block over here. And this is just l d minus 1 plus 1 times k. So what we can see here is that if we were to double all the values of l i, then we, we would get yeah the double for this value, roughly double for this, because, well, this one over here doesn't double, but okay, and also roughly four times for this case, because, yeah, the, the doubling applies to this, but also to this part. And this is what uh, explains the, the result that we had previously.